here's the the, the bundle of spanners. Um, and those to one side so we can work through them one at a time. Um, super slim spanner. It's a uh, old imperial size. It's got Whitworth and BS on there. Um, just made in England, TW. Still got the original paint on it, not too much rust. It's seen a bit of service. Could do with a, a clean. Three keen dick spanners. Um, yeah, chrome vanadium it says on there. Maybe, uh, maybe there's a set on there somewhere, so I'll just put those to one side and the super slims here. There's a, there's another super slim. Again, these uh, have the same, the same black finish as the, um, some of the snail brands that do look like they have the, the very same, uh, the same, same black finish, but, uh, I think the pan is slightly different, so I'll put that in our super slim pile. I've got some of these spanners already. This is Gidor. Um, I think they're German made. Um, I do like the way that these these spanners look. I've got some of these for some of my machine tools, but they're uh, just a single-ended spanner. And I do do like the way that they uh, they look. It's a very um, functional-looking spanner. Um, got some rust on there, but um, we'll be treating that. And also marked with a, a DIN standard, one inch width. This one and seven eighths width. Put that one over there out of the way. This is uh, another super slim. Another super slim. Again, these uh, these all appear to be imperial at the moment, which is. Uh, useful in some ways, another super slim, I think we're working up for a, a set there, you kind of get used to picking out the pattern, again that's uh, just like surface rust on that, so that, that's going to clean up lovely and uh, I'll get that one oiled. Um, again it's always difficult with these things when you look in a box, I had made the mistake recently of thinking I was buying a set of brittle spanners, I found out that they were all exactly the same spanner but that's entirely my fault and the, the luck of the draw when you go to um, to an auction. It's another super slim. A little bit of wear on the jaws there. To see how that looks when it cleans up. You can actually inspect the the surface on the inside of the jaws and, uh, and get an idea of, of what's going on there. This is another one. Um, it's not marked as G-Door. Um, West German made. This is a metric spanner. Similar pattern. I expect that probably is a, a made for someone else spanner, maybe by G Door, but I'm guessing at that one. Put those two together. Be nice to end up with some sets. Here's another one of the the G Door style, but that's got um looks like toner toner on it toner, but um sure that's about. Um, this one's seen a bit of service tearing over there of the uh, the jaws, although the rest of it doesn't look too bad. So I expect that could be dressed up and that would probably be okay. That would have to go in its own pile. Just uh, trying to look around for spanners to group together in some sort of order here. It's another super slim. So we're doing quite well on the super slim pile. We've got uh, eight spanners there now. I'll just see if I can readily pick out some more of those. There's another one. Again some of these I'm not sure if they've um, with some of the older spanners the finish isn't great so uh, probably won't be able to tell till I've cleaned that one up as to whether it's actually been used or whether those are just flash lines and marks from uh, when it was made. This is an AF, um, another super slim. It's uh, been quite a pile now, so uh, there's another DIN spanner, that's the same as um, our friend over there, that's another metric pattern. 
Oh, the first snail brand. Doesn't look like a regular uh, snail brand one because they usually have sail, snail brand written on the back, but it's just got Snail England. Um, another Imperial one, chrome steel. A little bit of light rust in on there. I expect that'll clean up. Another King Dick's banner. This is a LAF chrome vanadium. I'm not sure if that's for a car or whether that's somebody's name. Ford. In the King Dick pub. Here we have our proper Snell brand spanner. There's definitely a family resemblance there, so that's looking like they uh, they may be a maybe something gathering towards a a set. This is a King Dick. This is a different. Um, well, maybe it's not. That is the same pattern, but um, I'm going to be very surprised if that's chrome under there. <laughs> I think that's just going to be a black painted finish, but it's another one. A uh, Ken Dick Spanner pile. I do kind of like these um, these old British names. Um, there's another Super Slim, but this is this has gone the other way, where we've just had a black King Dick and the rest were chrome. All the Super Slims are black and this is a super slim but uh, chrome chrome vanadium another AF size linish to finish on the uh, the joins rather than polished so it's not like some of the prettier spanners you get um, get these days just a little bit of dust on that one that's in um, a very good condition I'll speed this up a bit when we get through to the uh, the bottom of the bottom of the pile because we've probably got a lot of um, another super slim uh, yeah a lot of spanners that probably aren't really worth showing it's another super slim so I expect there was a super slim set by the look of this for sure now so like so snail brand so I've forgotten where I've been putting those now they're over here See, that's uh, another finish uh, again. This is a lot of spanners that are finished in this style. There's some here that are this black finish, not a painted finish, but it's a, it's a dark finish. I was used to see that on um, adjustable spanners. Yeah, snail brand. There's another snail. That's. Uh, that's definitely one of the set. This I've not seen this this particular style before, but it is it is, it is quite appealing. Uh, I did um, get these in the set. I had seen a set of these for sale. This is um, it's seen better days. Um, that one's that one's seized, but uh. The thing with them that's quite nice is it's a it's a ratchet ring spanner, and then you can just uh, operate the toggle to do up and undo. Um, there's no brand name on this one. Um, I don't think it's going to be something you can put a fantastic amount of force on, but I don't think that's the case with any ratchet. Really, you should use it. A fixed bar, so this would be good for once you get your um, bolt head or or, or nut uh, loosened off to to undo. Good for working in a tight spot, and uh, this offset here is uh, maybe useful. Um, maybe they're for motor mechanics, but uh, interesting none the, nonetheless. I think we've got uh, a set of these. Well. A part that I can see uh, another couple. This one's different again. This is a Vacom one, which I think is a, a French company. Um, that's going to require a lot of work because that is that is uh, seized. Um, it doesn't look like it's got a ratchet option on this one, so I guess you just turn over for the uh, the other direction. I'd be looking forward to uh, cleaning that one up and. Uh, Freeing it off. That's a, again a little bit of surface rust. You have to be careful cleaning. 
it has got chrome in there so we can't be using anything abrasive but I think most of that will clean up and um, the rust always looks a lot worse on the chrome than it, it usually is uh, usually she's got pitting and the rust spreads out from the, the small pit so once you uh, clean off the rust you can lightly oil it and then it um, generally looks uh, presentable and uh, definitely serviceable it's another toner spanner I'm not quite sure about where where these um, these ones came from it's uh, it's none of our other patterns is it there we are that's the toner and that one is unmarked but I'll uh, I'll put that one in this pile with the G-Doors because that's definitely that set of spanners even though it's not got the brand name on it and these two are toners again I do like the the pan on that but I've, um, I've mentioned that already uh, some really odd spanners in here I and mean, this is called Crom Favourite uh, I'm not quite sure where that's from nice nice pattern a nice shape to the spanner um, it's got number four on the back so it's probably part of a set I can't see um, what size that is at the moment that's a, a mystery spanner so uh, sometimes these things are like great surprises once you uh, once you clean them up spear point that's a new one Again, that's uh, Imperial, another snail, another snail. So the snail pile is building up, so we may have a, a set there. That's a uh, Robo on that one, I'm not sure what that's all about, but it doesn't look like it's uh, a really, well it's a really unusual pattern. I mean that's a very thin eye beam through the section there and that actually goes out into the the head so I'm not sure if we'd have weak points across here and here but um, it's only a small spanner so we probably wouldn't be putting that much force on that one anyway I'm just whipping through now trying to find um, anything else that would fit in the uh, it's a 5 8 uh, spanner from India that's um, Probably part of a an inexpensive tool set. That one. I haven't seen any more. Uh, well, we're back to a King Dick again. There we go. Um, lots of Aloras, which is uh, another German German. Link. There's a Jiddle, um ring spanner. Just checking to see that that's not been used as a, a wrench of some kind. Sometimes you pick these spanners up and they just feel a bit, um, a little bit unusual. Well, that's probably okay. That one. Again, number thirteen, seven sixteenths, um, seven sixteenths AF by the look of it. Surprisingly, that's got India on it as well. Excuse me, that can have its own pile. There's a Laura, so I think we have to create a pile for for those. It's a brittle. That was interesting. I was expecting to find that one in there. I do like these spanners because they just seem to have a, a much better level of finish. This uh, satin chrome as well. Um, The quarter or three sixteenths end hasn't been used, but the, the quarter end has. There's some uh, some marking on the edge of the chrome there, where it's fretted a little bit, and some marks. So uh, we'll have to see how that one measures up once it cleans up. Another uh, British make, Bedford. Again, the chrome's not. Um, not oh, fantastic. It's warm. Let's see one of the 
there's a dirty marks or whether uh, something a bit more serious. I think that'll uh, clean up again. Get another nice stock British span. Oh, there's another brittle, but that's um, that's seen a lot more action than our uh, our other friend. It's a, it's a different pattern. Is it a different pattern? No, it's just a bigger spanner. Same pattern. Chrome alloy. But um, just the detail in on the finish doesn't look quite as crisp as the as the smaller spanner and the. Had some breaking off of the flaking of the chrome there, so it may clean up okay. I mean, the fact that the chrome's gone is spoils the look a lot, but um, usually that's the stress when it's been used on a, a nut and the chrome actually split or crack or, or chip. You could see that probably in, um, in this one. But there's a uh, that's been on something quite sharp on corners and uh, it's marked the inside of the, the jaws. It's a bit of a shame really because it was uh, otherwise quite a nice uh, quite a nice banner. There's another Elora. It's pretty uh, starting to lower a pile I think. Matter to all this spanner, and I think somebody's done something to that for uh, getting into a tight corner. There were one or two spanners in here that were cut away or modified or bent, so I think that the person that maybe used these was working either as a motor mechanic or on a, a lot of machinery. Um, yeah, that's called super chrome, although that doesn't look too super to me at the moment. Another drop forged India spanner. Put that with our other one. Uh, I think we're going to end up with some sets here. There's another Allura. Three eight AF. Again, a, a little bit of nicking of the chrome there. Um, that'll probably clean up 